Hey guys, and welcome to my studio. Um, this is a long way to video because I've been taking, talking, taking, talking about this place for a while since I first um, decided to take it back in the fall. Uh, and it just wasn't the right time to move, but uh, we moved in. Uh, we, Eric helped me move all my stuff in this past Sunday and I got it all packed up and set up on Tuesday. Today is uh, Thursday. So I've been working here yesterday and today, uh, not doing anything particularly exciting right now, just updating my portfolio, which hasn't happened for like a year and a half and uh, sending out client emails, um, client updates, that sort of thing. Uh, anyway, I have already posted, well, I hope by now I will have posted a little kind of mini behind the scenes of some of the in process when I was unpacking that was shared on Patreon. And, um, there I mentioned that I was going to be doing a studio tour and I think I've talked about it on Instagram. So anyway, here it is. We're going to do a studio tour. Um, I feel like there's probably a certain format that I should follow, but I'm just going to walk through. And if there's other stuff that I miss or that you guys want to see um just let me know and yeah so without further ado here we go uh i came in through this door through that side there's um three other studios and there's some shops downstairs so my studio is at the back which is awesome because it means i have this back door here that goes uh downstairs so uh, I still have to get a key for it, <laughs> but once I have the key, I'll basically have my own private entrance, which is pretty cool. Um, and it will go out to where my parking spot is into the dumpster, which is just super helpful for taking stuff down. Um, this camera does not do very well at getting the outside view, but I posted it on uh, my Insta stories a little while ago and it's actually super cute. There's a really cute little courtyard out here. And then there's um, a vintage shop. That's what that mural is uh, off in the distance. Um, and then a Mexican restaurant. It's just a really cute area of town. So, um, lots of fun stuff. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I basically take up, not even basically, I completely just take up like half of the space. I'm hoping to get like a chair, some sort of comfy chair to sit in while I'm working on the iPad that would go over here and maybe some retail stuff for when I do um, open studios because they have open studios uh, the first Friday of every month. So uh, if you are familiar with my space, if this isn't your first video, um, you will see it's pretty much all the same stuff. I'm uh, still experimenting with what I have where, but I moved a bunch of things around. So now this is basically like my printing station. Um, this top drawer does have some random, this is like all the pieces that are too big or don't fit in portfolios. Um, this is like all of my electrical cables, my light pad. Uh, yeah, just more tech technology stuff, I guess, like this adapter, the, what is that thing called? Tablet Wacom. Um, so I guess this isn't really a print station. It's, it's everything except art supplies, basically. Um, this, this is all like hardware. So stuff for framing, um, paint scrapers, exactos, um, a hammer in case I need it, that sort of thing. Um, this is packaging. No, this is, um, like promo stuff and stickers, which as you can see, I am like running super low on and I need to order more of all of that. This is, this is printer stuff. These, this is ink for my new printer. This is paper. Um, these are gloves for handling the paper, um, which by the way, the printer is now the, um, Canon Pixma Pro 10 and I really like it, but it goes through a ton of ink way more than my other Canon did. So, uh, yeah, keep that in mind if you're thinking of updating. Um, and then down here is some more packaging supplies like cardboard and stuff. I'm not sure if I'll keep that there, but, uh, anyway, that's this unit. And then I'm planning on putting a, a dry erase calendar on this easel and then coming around here. Oh, sorry. I emptied the trash can so you guys wouldn't have to look at my gross trash, but I just left the bag there. So real life. Um, but yeah, this, uh, studio has this enormous closet, which I didn't even really remember when I picked it because I was choosing between this spot and the, the attic spot. Um, but I'm so glad I picked this one because this closet is amazing. It has these really deep shelves and I'm able to put all of my uh, paper that comes in these big sheets. Usually I get them, they're like 24 by 36 or sometimes 30 by 40, but I get these huge pieces of paper and break them down because that's by far the cheapest way to do it when you use high-end paper like I do. 
uh, and before I've had nowhere to put stuff like that. So perfect spot for big stuff like that. And uh, my um, cutting pad, uh, my dream would be to get a really big one of these, but they're like a thousand dollars. So we'll see if that ever happens. Um, and then I've also got some odds and ends in here. This is all packaging supplies up there, um, our large portfolios. And then down here is all filming equipment like tripods, uh, light box, uh, ring light, all that kind of stuff. And then on the bottom, it's odds and ends like fans and blow dryers and um, stuff that I would use to dry off watercolor painting and uh, my breast pump. And then I have uh, my fridge here for food and uh, pumped milk and stuff. Uh, then turning around this way, this um, shelving unit was already here when I moved in. Uh, and again, this wasn't like a thing that I... This wasn't a selling point to me, but now that I have it, it is awesome and I'm super happy it's here. Um, it's coming along. It's not done by any means. As you can see, there are like lots of empty spots and I'm excited about being able to put up a lot more art. Um, yeah, so I have just down here right now, I have like some drawing boards and my large palettes. This shelf is going to be all portfolios. I still have a bunch more at home. So I think when I bring them, when I bring the rest of them, the shelf will be pretty much full. I have to actually on that note to make sure it's sturdy enough to hold all of those because they're really heavy. Um, and yeah, up here I have a bunch of art. Some of it has been sent to me by you guys. Some of it I bought, some of it, uh, is like random things that, my brother drew this years ago and he probably would be so embarrassed if he watched my vlogs and knew that I had this up here. But my sister um, is an artist, so I felt like I should have something that my brother drew too. Uh, yeah, so it's little personal stuff like that. Um, and then uh, on this spot, I'm either going to put more art or I saw, I forget who I saw uh, do this, but somebody had saved a bunch of their paint swatches, which if you're a patron, you know I've been, I usually write my notes on these. But I, I saw someone do a project where they had all of these saved and had them kind of arranged in a, a rainbow, a color gradient. And it was so pretty. So I think I, I'm going to try to do something like that. Um, I have my a few of my art books, some old sketchbooks, um, my uh, old scanner, and then the printer that I used for just like labels and stuff that doesn't have to be a fine art printer. And then I put all of my... Um, Hydrus watercolors out here and I finally got to arrange them in color order. Um, very excited about that. And uh, then over here I have um, some magazines and annuals and different things that my work has been in. I used to have those in the top drawer of one of these units, but it was nice to be able to save space and just take those out. And now I can use that for something else. Um, some packaging supplies and just, you know, little personal knickknacks and that sort of thing. Uh, and then here I have, this is basically my charging station. So I have like my iPad and computer plugs, the plug for my, um, Apple watch, uh, all that's over here. And then this used to be where I had my electronics, but, um, it was like so packed, it was way too full. So I decided to make it the drawer where I would put physical samples of stuff, which as you can see, I don't have a ton because that's just not really a big area for my work, but I have some of the greeting cards that my work was on. Um, and then some fabric that I had made just on spoon flour. Um, and then this is uh, shipping labels as well as some odds and ends command strips. What's in here? I forget. Oh, yes. And then this is um, more packaging material. I am slowly but surely trying to work my way through um, all this plastic and moving towards everything being either um, compostable or reusable, uh, some form of that. So this is kind of the last the last of the old supplies that I had. Um, and then just that bottom um, that bottom drawer is just like a, a file. It is a file full of, you know, boring businessy stuff that you put in files. Uh, and then I need to get another hook to put my computer bag on. Uh, I take my computer home with me every night. So over here will be where I have my scanner. This is a, the new version of my old Epson scanner that I loved. I would have kept using, I should do a whole video about that, but I would have kept using that Epson scanner, but it, um, the driver, it got so old that the driver was no longer being updated. So the scanner was totally fine. I just couldn't get the driver anymore. So this is the new one. It is 
the same surface area for scanning, um, but it's way bigger. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna experiment with it and make a video about it. Right now, I'm not that into it because it's so huge. And so in this drawer unit, this is where all the fun stuff is. I have all the different colored pencils up top here. Um, these are the ones I use the most. Everything that's up top is what I use the most frequently. And then here I have brushes and palettes and watercolor. And then here it gets a little bit less organized. It's basically just everything else. So I have like markers, um, acrylic paint and gouache paint. Uh, both of those are acrylic based. And then various dry media like Conti crayons, wax pastels, oil pastels, dry pastels, um, Verithin Prismacolors that I don't use very often, and then some random um, gold leafing supplies. What's here? Oh yes, very exciting drawer that basically just has rulers in it. Um, and then this is all the paper that I have already broken down. I sometimes will put paintings in here if I'm partway through, uh, especially if it's just watercolor. I don't usually put things that have colored pencil on them because I don't want it to smudge, but um, I'll put things in here if they're mid-process. But yeah, generally this is just paper that has been broken down. And this used to be where I would have to put all of my paper. Like I couldn't even keep the big sheets very long because there was no place to put them. So excited about the closet for that reason. And then this has um, transfer paper and then a couple of small watercolor blocks. And then here I've got my um, desk, obviously, which is like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty small for the room. So uh, at some point I will get a larger one, which would be really nice. I've wanted a larger one for a long time and have uh, been working on this small one for years and years. And this thing you will recognize as well from um, other vlogs. But uh, yeah, it's basically the same arrangement. Did I change anything? Yeah, I guess I did change a little bit. Mostly up top now I just have colored pencils, pencils, erasers. And then I have this empty one because um, I tend to like to pull out just the colors that I'm going to use on a given painting. So I like having a separate container to put those in if I have to stop midway through. And then down here uh, I have tape and some of the little ink pens and paint pens that I'll use for just finishing touches. I don't use them a lot, but um, put those down there as well, along with some Gamsol. That's what's in the sealed jars and my watercolor cup. And then down at the bottom is uh, cameras and filming equipment. So yeah, I think that is it. So let me know if there are any questions, if you have questions about, whoa, any of the things that I showed, or if you want me to show something else or talk about something else, let me know. Uh, I think I did maybe one other studio tour um, years and years ago, years and years ago, uh, when I first started on YouTube. So it has been a while. And, um, and at that time too, I think I had people saying that I should have talked about other things than what I talked about. But anyway, this is what it is. Um, I am hoping to be back doing some vlogging again soon. Um, yeah, as always, let me know if you guys have questions or comments or ideas for other videos. You can put those down in the comments. Uh, thank you very much to my patrons for sponsoring this video and to Meg for editing the video and especially to you for watching the video. And if you liked it, please do hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new and share it with a friend and um yeah and I will try to put links to some things in the description box but I just showed like everything in here so I'm probably not going to put um links to everything but if there's something that's uh, particular that you're curious about or want to know more about um let me know and that's really it I hope you guys have a great day and a great week and I will see you in the next video bye <music>